What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Divinity Dragon Commander. We... let's see, let's, let's establish where we are right now in the game. We have four generals, and we have the four ambassadors in my throne room. Uh, we've had several battles I can usually rely on using my generals to auto-resolve, so I haven't actually been in them personally. And I think that's kind of where we left off, and I think I'm getting the opinions... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Alright. Well, let's talk to my generals for now. Impressive victory, Commander. You fight like a lion, which is almost as good as a lioness. She's coming around, slowly. She's coming around. How do you think the war's going? Really, Commander, let's actually go to war. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Well, 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 the Dragon Commander himself. Come, sit, drink with me. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. He's had a few too many. But you take to the right, too, if you had an imp apparatus for an arm. Never told you how I came by this eyesore, did I? Admin really was right about him just talking about his arm, drunk. Twas during the great and glorious last stand to save the Empire. Horseshit. We fought like lions so that the king, your bloody father, could scarper with what riches he could hold. But my soldiers did their duty. They died where they stood, and I was left the dead. One of an eye and an arm. Not that any of it mattered. The king's head was shown decorating a stake like star crowns will the pines come midwinter night. Defeat. Bah. Luckily, a touch of the malt can relieve its bitter taste. Okay, so I can be a dick and say, if the day should come for me, you can scarp her too. I have no use for a general with any more prosthetic limbs. Or I can say, despite your dislike of my father, you stood your ground and did your duty. I hope I'll gain your respect so that you'll stand by me too, should the situation arise. I'm gonna pick that one. You have the respect of Maxos. And that certainly speaks in your favor. But you'll need to come a long way yet to prove unto me you're not just another pampered prince. He yanked away from his mother's teat. So what'll you have then? Mead or milk? All right, calm down, you drunk bastard. All right, Scarlet, what do you have to say? Our victory was so complete, I can taste it. You did well by us, Commander. Let's see. She probably has the same thing to say as before. Hope springs eternal, does it not? In any case, let's hope hope does. All right, I shall take my leave. Wait. Oh yeah, Edmund's in the other room. Alright, let's go to the throne room then. Since there's an actual Commander, excellent... it is imperative that we should win the war. For our enemies are godless heathens in need of annihilation. To hasten this process, I therefore propose we introduce conscription. For why have young, able-bodied men sit around or do menial tasks when they could be serving in your armies instead? Interesting. A race's attitude towards you determines how much support you'll receive in combat when fighting in their lands. Listen to the counselors to hear their point of view regarding the issue at hand. After making a decision, you'll be able to find out how happy or angry they are. Oh, cool! So, we can institute conscription, but first, let's, let's talk to everyone. So, I guess we could talk to the original guy as well. Commander, it is imperative that we should win the war. Nope, we've already heard him say that. Okay, let's talk to him. Commander. Even the most peace-loving elf won't deny that in these dark times of war, allowances have to be made which we would otherwise condemn. Conscription, though, goes too far. Let those that wish to fight for our cause do so, but let's not force men away from their families if they feel it is their duty to stand by them. Okay, so you clearly do not like conscription. Let's talk to... I bet he'll, prof uh, he'll approve. Conscription may have somewhat of an ill ring to it, Commander. But it might be worth consideration nonetheless. There's not a dwarf that won't take up his axe for the Empire, but elves! A three-fingered man could number their volunteers on one hand. Time to get these weaklings into shape. So you clearly support conscription. Okay, that leaves these two. She probably won't... I don't think she'll like it. I don't think conscription is a very good idea, Commander. Not only should a life of soldiery be an individual's choice rather than an obligation, 
But by drafting so many young men into the army, you're draining our economical reserves. So please don't forget your political obligations because of your military ones. Okay, so you're against it. All right. Which leaves Trinculo. Here's an imp's perspective, Commander. More soldiers equals bigger battles, and bigger battles equals more explosions. Win-win. Granted, it's a bit of a simplistic perspective, but imps will have their fun, you know. Okay, so you're also for conscription, but you seem like you don't really care. Hmm, I think I might have to go against it. Hold on. Ah, uh, she'll like it a little less. These two will be... Hold on. Oh, this is tricky. Will I institute it? I don't know. Right now, I'm fighting... Right now, I'm fighting in Elvish territory, but eventually, I'm going to move out, and I'll be taking on... Um, Undead territory. I don't want to piss him off. Ooh, this is... Alright. I'm going to decide within 10 seconds. Damn it, why is it so balanced? I said I would decide. Hold on. Four against. Four against four hmm. I might have to give it the thumbs up bravo commander nothing like fresh blood to reinvigorate the military a lot of it will be spilled yes but in service of the seven that is an honor not a sacrifice oh this is not gonna be good you are too harsh a man commander Think about the consequences of conscription. There will be cases of conscientious objection, desertion, thereby execution. So much drama for the sake of a few extra soldiers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good. Fair's fair, Commander. Oberon and his kin deserve to make a bit of an extra effort. And if they don't make for good cannoneers, at least they'll make for proper cannon fodder. Don't be a dick. Come on. Oh, she's not gonna be happy. I think you're making a mistake, Commander. But so be it. A generation will march to war. How many will return, I wonder. And finally. Wonderful. I knew you'd be swayed by the arithmetic of detonation. A child could do the math, and a child would be equally delighted by the outcome. That doesn't make me feel any better. Well, now we have conscription, and he's pissed. What's the, uh... What's the damage? Looks like I can't see it yet. So let's... Let's go to... The... Bridge? Let's go to the bar. Don't be offended by that last little comment, Commander. Impressive victory, Commander. Alright. Well, looks like we're going to the bridge now. And here I should be able to see, I think... The percentages. Okay, maybe not yet. Hold on, let's take a look. Usually when that newspaper pops up, I can see. Really? The public opinion hasn't changed? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, maybe I just gotta wait for the turn to end. Okay, well, let's, let's move. Um, I mean, he's almost dead. Let's see. I want to go down here, so let's go ahead and put him in here. Wait. Oh, he's not technically in the boat yet. Let's send, let's send two, and then send him down. There we go. Let's see, I need to build, yeah, I need to build some more. Hold on. I've got 15, that's, that's a pretty good amount. If that's the case, let's go ahead and put a grenadier down. Yep, I like it. And then over here, we need to start making some more guys. Wait, can I build a building? Yes, I can. Okay. Do I have enough? Let's see. Oh, I have just enough for, let's see. Unit acquisition, advantage in subversion. Okay. A gold mine? Whoa! Or I can get parliament. That's pretty good, too. Strategy cards? I like it. Or a tavern. Actually, I might do Parliament. I like strategy cards. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, 
Oh, but the gold mine's good too. Let's go with the gold mine. Never mind. Okay. Now, I need to buy units, absolutely. I've spent all my money, right. Okay. I need to I need to send some guys down. I don't want to lose a uh, I don't want to leave my capital undefended, but he's amassing a decent amount of guys, which is scaring me. So for now, I think I'm going to move him down. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's end the turn. All right, let's see how it looks. Uh-oh, here come the units. All right, let's take a look at what we've done. Henry unfit to be a general, but don't quote me on that. Lord Edmund confides. Conscription, generation of children murdered, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Dwarves up, elves down, lizards down. Oh, it's pretty equal. That's weird. All right, well. All right, all right. I'll try and find a way later on to get the lizards up. I want to have bring the elves back up, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Every decision you make regarding your council, your generals and your queen will have consequences. Wait a minute. Oh. Decisions will generate cards and or gameplay disadvantages and furthermore influence the personal stories of generals and queens. Oh, that's neat. Your shamans will have 75% more hit points. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Your battle forges are built 50% faster. I like it. These are good. These are great cards. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Fie upon Edmund's pride, Commander. The Lizard Lords have granted him the honor of representing our mighty military on a diplomatic mission of utter import, and he gets his knickers in a twist because it comes with a spot of sacrament alien to our ways. I should think it would be good fun to attend an imp ceremony. Something is bound to blow up. Isn't that what the generals normally like? I don't know, he's a bit of a pompous bastard. Let's go talk to him and see what he has to say. So what is this imp council meeting they're talking about? Imps, Commander. Are they not truly the lowliest of all the races? Were it not for the hint of demon cunning in their blood, we most probably wouldn't speak to them as much as serve them for supper with a series of seasonal stuffings. As it is, however, the lizard lords have deemed it fit to strengthen the military cooperation between ourselves and those demoniacal dewdrops. You are such a dick, man. I'd exhale an existential sigh upon the hearing of such folly, yet give it no further thought but for one devilish detail in the treaty. It is I, as our foremost general, who must, quite literally, stoop to inspect their armies. An impish high priest will be present, figures fit for farce that are greeted and received with ridiculous amounts of highly ritualized protocol. Fun fact, one of the reasons monocles were typically reserved for the upper class at the time was because it was really expensive fitting it to the shape of the, um, what do you call it, the, the skull, the skull shape around the eye? So it made them really expensive, so, random stupid trivia. As Henry might say, Commander, I'd rather lick marmalade from an orc's behind than bow to an imp. My very reason for currying your draconic benevolence at this hour. Certainly, I have your blessing to abstain from these grotesque formalities and tend to business rather than etiquette. Ooh, tricky, tricky. I don't care if you have jumping through hoops. If a courtesy is demanded, you must deliver upon it. Such are the rules of diplomacy. Imps do tend to overdo protocol, so I'll tell you what. I'll lend you my signet ring when the ceremony starts. Hold up your hand and say that to waste your time is to waste the dragon's time. That'll piss the imps off. But I don't want to piss him off. Ah, uh, he's got to go. He has to do it. I'm sorry, buddy. Your wish, my command, at sorry, etc. But if there indeed be hoops, the snapping of little necks will be added to the ritual. All right, let's go see. I must say, I don't envy Edmund, Commander. He's to bow and scrape before an imp of all things. <laughs> if twere any other general, I'd publicly protest. But that conceited tosser deserves to kiss dust once in a while. Remind him he walks the earth just like the rest of us. Well, except you, perhaps. Damn straight. Sup, Commander. Sup, indeed. What do you say, Scarlet? Shall we be- wait, no, I've already- Alright. What would you inquire of me? 
Well, they don't have anything new to say. So let's go ahead and go to... Ooh, let's go to the engineering bay. I should have enough... Um... Actually, you know what? I might want to save my money after all. The wizard has discovered... Let's take a look. Um, oh, these are... Well, these are research points, so I can. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Warlock cloak. Oh, uh... Let's go into the advanced, since I can actually afford it. Mortar turrets. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Or I can do this. Can shoot a hazardous projectile on an enemy. Infect it, so it's a dot. Pretty good. Grenadiers are equipped with a more powerful rocket. Interesting. These are all really good. Cloaked units. Ooh, that's... Okay, hold on. Let's see. I might want to go with armor instead, actually. That seems pretty good. Let's go with... Ah, uh, but I like mortar turret, too. Let's do mortar turret. Should I? Hmm... Let's do armor. Let's do armor. Alright, close. Now, let's go back to... The bridge. Alright. Let's see what we got now on the board. When your popularity with the faction falls below 50%, support in their countries will dwindle. This will affect your gold and research income from their country and the amount of units you can build when in combat. Oh, it does matter because I'm on their territory. Yikes, I should have... Oh, I should, probably should turn down the, um... Damn it! Okay, I gotta find a way to bring back el Elvish Favor. Hmm. That's not good at all. That's not good. Alright, alright. For now, let's go ahead and drop him here and take this over. Boom, it's mine. Right? Alright, let's go ahead and send the boat back. Alright, we're good here. Let's go ahead and move over here and start building some more units. Armor, oh yeah. Armor, hunter, shaman. And another hunter. Nope, can't do it. Grenadier, nope, can't afford it. Trooper. All right, looks good, looks good. Let's, let's move these guys over so I can see what I'm doing. It's like a risk board right now, awesome. All right, it looks good for now, I think. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Wait, hold on. No, I have enough to move him, so let's do that, actually. Yep, everyone go. Good. End turn. Woohoo! Whoa! What are you doing? Oh, wow. Oh, God. This, this is, oh no, oh no. No, 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 this is not good at all. Oh, God. Only a 51% chance to win, that's not good. Oh, I gotta find some good generals to throw in. And I can only have one. Wait, what? Wait, 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 why? Oh, no. This is bad. I might have to send myself in. Oh, God. I think the... Shoot, shoot, shoot. What if I start using a bunch of cards? Let's see. Throw that in. Throw this in. Well, that shifts it a little bit. Ooh, if I send Scarlet... Okay, this is... I could, maybe I should do this. I don't like these odds, though, still. Should I auto-resolve? 57% chance of winning? That's gonna be a bloody battle. I don't like this. Ah. Uh... Let's do it. Let's do it. 57% chance. Ooh, 
This is... This is a little scary. Okay, okay, things are looking good. Hey, we... Uh... Ooh, victory? Yes! That's not so bad! I still have a Zeppelin and four Hunters. Alright, alright, pretty good. They suffered way more casualties than I did. Alright, the numbers... Ooh, it went down for the imps? Why? The lizards went up, though. Oh, the imps didn't like that, that, that I did that. Okay. Interesting. Emperor pregnant? That doesn't make any sense. Emperor subjects general to impish humiliation. They tell you to roll over, you roll over. Ugh. Let's see, I now have five trooper mercenaries. Ooh, that's pretty good. I like it. Limperist. Enemy's troopers will fire 75% slower. That is also really good. Oh, it's been 21 minutes. Yikes. I'm going to end this video here, so stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye! Oh, see, this... This I don't trust. Not in the slightest. Oh, what? Two hallways? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Let's just power through. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is the courtyard? To hell? Oh, hey!